Hi, Ideas here. In today's video, we're going to learn how to create favorites inside the Roland AX Edge. All right, let's get started. The AX Edge offers 320 programs that you can use to play live and have a great time, but going through that many sounds in a live situation could be difficult. So here's an easy solution. The AX Edge has a favorite section, which means you can take your favorite programs, i.e. sounds, and assign them to the different buttons on top of the AX Edge. So if we take a look, we have our favorite section right here, and you see it says on and bank. So the AX Edge gives you 10 banks, and I have banks 0 through 9, so that's 10 banks, and I can have up to 10 favorites per bank. So that's 100 program favorites that I can choose from. So let's get started. First off, I need to decide on what bank I want to start saving my favorites to. So to do that, press bank. Currently, it's flashing bank zero because that is the bank I am currently in. But if I wanted to change to a different bank, such as bank two, now it's there. So now that I've determined the bank, now I can start saving sounds to that bank. So let's take this organ brass that we created. If I press and hold favorite, all the buttons are flashing because there's currently no favorites assigned in that button. So I'm gonna put that one right here to button zero. Great, let's go ahead and choose another sound. Maybe this Jupiter signs lead. Press and hold favorites. Notice that button zero is no longer flashing because that's where I put the first program. Now let's put another program. Great. And now let's go ahead and choose something else. Press and hold favorite. Notice that button zero and one are not flashing because something is already written there. I'll go here and let's do one more. I'll take a bass and I'm going to go ahead and put it in a different spot. So I'm going to press favorites, press and hold. Zero, one, and two are taken. I'm going to put that one way here on number nine. That's just showing you that the favorites do not have to be in succession. So now to access those favorites in a live situation, I'll go ahead and turn on favorites. Now I can easily switch sounds. There's the program that I assigned to button zero, one, two, and nine. Now if I choose a button that doesn't have a program assigned to it, it's going to say nothing is registered there. Okay, that being said, if I wanted to add something to one of those buttons, let's go ahead and choose another sound. Press and hold favorite once again, and there you go, registered. Very easy. So if I wanted to go to a different bank, once again, press the bank button, I'll go to bank three, and now I can save different programs to that particular bank. So let's do a couple of other programs to bank three. So let's say, press and hold favorites. Notice in bank three, all the buttons are flashing because nothing is written. So I'll start it at nine this time. Press and hold favorite. Notice that nine is no longer flashing. There we go. Let's choose something else. Great. Press and hold. Notice it says registered. Great. So now in that particular bank, I have three sounds registered. So I'll go ahead and turn on favorites. And now I can access those particular programs to the buttons very easily. Now in a live situation, if I wanted to switch to a different bank, press the bank button. It says you're currently on bank three. I want to switch to bank two. It said bank change, and now I have access to the programs that I wrote earlier in bank two. All right, give this a shot. I hope it helps you out. You guys take care. We'll talk to you later.